Hi, my name is Dale Humbert. I'm the chief biologist for Ducks Unlimited. We spent the most of today on Pasalutra Wildlife Management Area in Southern Louisiana. The perspectives I gained that I guess I understood, but I didn't understand as well as I do now, are things that relate to the scale of the challenge we face with regard to waterfowl management nationwide, continent-wide, with regard to wildlife conservation challenges continent-wide. Let's talk a little bit about the scale at which those things occur. First of all, let me talk a little bit from a personal perspective. I flew in the late 1970s, this whole coastal band. Having grown up in the Midwest, where we'd lost somewhere in the range of 90% of our wetlands, I was absolutely overwhelmed by the fact that there were still wetlands in North America that, for the most part, were in pristine condition. I'm not sure that's the case today. We're challenged with the loss of somewhere in the range of 40% of the original habitat base in coastal Louisiana. It's a challenge that Ducks Unlimited has faced for more than 20 years, and folks, we're gonna face that challenge over the next decades as well. What has happened recently with the oil spill is we essentially have put an exclamation point on that conservation challenge. This incredibly diverse coastal zone is something important to people, it's something important to wildlife, it's something important on a continental basis, not just locally. Let's talk a little bit about that scale. First of all, let's talk about taxonomic scale. The, the number of species using this zone are absolutely clear to waterfowl folks, as we understand that there's more than 40 species of waterfowl in North America, and the majority of those use this part of the world. More than 13 million ducks at some times in the past. A million and a half geese in some years use this part of the world for their wintering and late migration habitat. Let's remember that we're not talking about just local conditions. We're talking about birds that currently are nesting somewhere in the range of about 3,000 miles to the north that expect six months from now to return to a habitat that's gonna provide them the resources necessary to return north in good condition. Let's remind ourselves that with regard to the species that enjoy this habitat, within a month, we're gonna see shorebirds arrive. Uh, two months from now, we're gonna see the first flush of blue-winged teal, adult males for the most part. Shortly after that, pintails are going to arrive, then gadwalls, widgeon, pintails, mallards, everything else is going to arrive by the time we get into the, just the beginning of the hunting seasons in the Mississippi Flyway. Somewhat later than that, the geese are going to arrive as well. Those birds that are nesting now 3,000 miles away are going to arrive about six months from now. So that reminds us of the tax taxonomic scale, the diversity of species that are using this habitat just from a waterfowl standpoint. Then remember, that there's hundreds and hundreds of waterfowl species, wildlife species, water bird species, fish species that use these same habitats.